Hi and welcome to another very exciting tutorial. Today we're going to have a look at the UI navigation bar, which is a very cool, very useful and very versatile component that many apps make use of. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at how we can customize the navigation bar and also how to use some of the cool features that are coming almost for free. So we are going to add, for example, a nice icon or logo to the navigation bar at the top. We are going to have a look how to manipulate what it says or what the title for the back button is. And we're also going to implement this feature that you might know from Safari that when you scroll down a little that the navigation bar actually hides. And also we're going to have a look at how we can change the background color or the tint color of the items here in the navigation bar. And if you want to follow along, then I'd suggest that you download the start files from the video description below. And when you start the project that is included, you will have a nice storyboard here that already has a view controller and a table view controller. This is just what you've seen here. So this is the view controller. And here we have our table view controller. And I've just created the associated classes so that we do not have to worry about that in this tutorial. But first, let's see how we can actually add a navigation bar or a navigation controller to this setup. So I'm going to select the first view controller right here. And then I'm going to hit the editor menu item, select embed in and select navigation controller. And with that, we have created a navigation controller and also we have a navigation bar now on top or at the top of our view controller. And what I also want to do here is in order to get this plus animation. So when I want to add something, for example, I'm going to add a segue between this first view controller and my table view controller by pressing control on the keyboard, clicking on my plus icon and move my mouse to the right and hit the show um, menu item here from the action segue part of this menu. And with that done, our table view controller also gets a navigation bar, which is pretty nice. And as you can see, I have also given this view controller a title, which we can change. If we double click here, it could be great app or whatever you like actually. But with that, we have a title for this view controller that is also displayed at the moment instead of this logo of this lightning. So how can we actually change the look and feel of this navigation bar? First of all, you have some opportunities for that. If you scroll to the left and select the navigation controller and the navigation bar in this navigation controller seen on the left in the document outline. If you do not see that, you can activate and deactivate this document outline with this little icon here in the lower left corner. And if we have the navigation bar selected, then in the attributes inspector here on the right, you have a lot of properties that you can change. For example, the bar tint, which changes the background of our navigation bar, and also the general tint, which is a little lower here. This property, if I set this to red, for example, changes all the bar button items tint color. And this is one possibility that you have, and sometimes that's enough. But sometimes you also have multiple navigation controls in your application and then you would have to configure each of them individually. But we can do something different here. I'm going to reset that to default. And what I want to do now instead is making some of these changes in code and apply it to our complete application. So if we had multiple navigation controllers, all of the changes we do now would also affect them. And where I'm going to do that is in application did finish launching with options, a function here in app delegate. So let's make some of the changes we just did in interface builder now in app delegate. And this is very simple. Actually, we can take the UI navigation bar class and apply the appearance function, which returns the appearance proxy for the receiver as it states in the documentation. And with this appearance function, we can now use, for example, the bar 
tint color and set this to UI color yellow, for example. And we can also do the same thing using the UI navigation bar again, the appearance function, and now use just the tint color and set this to UI color, let's say orange. And if I now run the application again, we should have an orange uh, bar button item and a yellow background for our navigation bar and here is the simulator and as you can see we have now the orange bar button item because we changed the tint color and we also get the yellow background color because we changed the bar tint color and this is reflected like this in our navigation bar right here. So very cool already. So what else can we do? For example, what if we want to change the font for the bar button items like great app in that case? So we can do that really simple. Let's just define a nice font. Let's call it title font or navigation font. And now all I have to do is use the UI font class and define the font that I'd like to use. And a great resource to figure out how a font is called and what name we have to use is iosfonts.com. And I want to use Avenir Next now. And I want to select the condensed style. So all I have to do now is copy the style that I'd like to use. In my case, Avenir Next Condensed Demi Bold. And with that, I exactly know what the name of my font should be. And I'm deciding to set it to font size 18. And with that, I have a font. And now I have to create a text or a, a text attribute that we can use or apply to our appearance function or our appearance proxy. So now I'm using the navigation font attributes. And this is a simple dictionary where I can use NS font attribute name as a key. And now just using the navigation font as a value for that attribute. And now for this to work, we should do um, two changes here. First of all, remove the white space from our navigation font. Then we can also force unwrap this expression because we have copied that font name and we can be sure that this, this expression does not return nil. And then we can actually assign our navigation font attributes to UI and navigation bar appearance. And now we use the title uh, text attributes, which is an available property, but strangely, auto completion does not suggest it, but um, doesn't matter. We simply assign navigation font attributes here. We build and this works. We run and now we should be able to see a change in the font of our title in the simulator. And as you can see, indeed, we have now great app in a different font, but the attribute or the, um, the items here, like the, the great app back button is not yet changed. So what do we have to do for that? First of all, we can no longer use UI navigation bar for that. And instead we have to use UI bar button item and its appearance function, and then set the title text attributes using the set function here. We simply assign now again our navigation font attributes for the state, let's say normal. And then we run this again and we should be able to see that change too. So let's open up the simulator, have a look at it for a second. And here we go. We have great app now in our new Fond Avenir Condensed Demi Bold. So this is one thing that you can do. These changes here in App Delegate that are reflected to all of the navigation bars, all of the bar button items. And you can use this appearance class for uh, a ton of different UI kit components. So this is just one um, component, the UI navigation bar or bar button items that we can use that for. So now let's have a look at how we can actually change the back button here. So if I go to my table view controller, I do no longer want the uh, back button to say great app because this is what we have here in our view controller. This is our view controller title. We want that title, but we do not want to have that for our back button. So in order to change that, all we have to do now is configure our view controller here. So in view to load, we're using self and the navigation item, which is used to represent the view controller in a parent's navigation bar. And here we can use the back bar button item and we can create a new bar button item using UI bar button item and initialize that simply with a title like back 
a style, let's use plane here, and we don't need a target and we don't need a selector. And if we run this now, we should have a back button, which does no longer say great app, but instead it should say back. So let's try that, I'm clicking on the plus button and I have a back button button. Isn't that cool and simple? And now instead of our great app, let's add a logo to that navigation bar. So I have already added some assets here to our application, which is this simple lightning. And to change that, again, we're using the navigation item. And now we're using a title view, which is just a UI view, but we can add a image view here. So I'm simply creating a UI image view object here, initialize that with an image. So I'm using UI image here, UI image named, and my image is named logo. So I'm just adding that string here. And with that, we have added a logo image to our navigation bar. So let's have a quick look here. And as you can see, we have our lightning. We go to the next view controller. Our lightning is no longer there. So we just have that in the initial launch screen or start screen for our first view controller. And the last thing that I'd like to show you is how we can achieve it so that when we scroll through our table view or we scroll in our view control here that our navigation bar actually disappears just like in Safari. And since this is a property of the navigation controller, we can also make this adjustment here in our initial view controller. So I'm using self, the navigation controller, accessing the hides bars on swipe property and set this to true. And once I run my application, you will see that this simple line of code has made this nice effect possible for us. So let's have a look at our table view. We scroll down and we get this behavior almost for free, which is pretty cool. So I hope you found these tips and tricks around UI navigation bar useful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.